Homogeneity is the concept that the units in a physics equation are consistent on both sides of the equal sign. Checking for homogeneity is a useful skill that will help us find out whether an equation is incorrect, although it cannot tell us if the equation is definitely correct. Let me give you a, a simple example to start with. Here is the equation for speed equals distance over time. To check this homogeneity, we need to put the units into both sides of the equation. So on the left hand side of the equation, we know that the unit for velocity is meters per second. On the right hand side, we write down the other units. So we know that the unit for distance is the meter and the unit for time is the second. Now another way of writing this is to write it in line like this, meter seconds to the minus one. So we can see that both sides of the equation have the same unit. So this equation is homogeneous. Although it doesn't tell us that the equation is definitely correct, it does tell us that it could be correct. Let's try a more difficult example. So kinetic energy equals half mass times velocity squared. To begin with, we need to find out what each unit is here. So on this side of the equation, we have the joule, which is the SI derived unit for energy. We can ignore any dimensionless constants. These are things that do not have units and the half is just a half. It doesn't have any units, so we can ignore that. Mass is always measured in kilograms. Velocity is measured in meters per second. However, at this stage, we need to be careful because the velocity is squared. So we need to put the whole thing in brackets and square it. Let's expand out that bracket. So we have kilograms, meters squared, seconds to the minus two equals joules. However, the joule is not an SI base unit. That's why this hasn't worked yet. So we need to convert the joule into being an SI base unit. Now, another equation that we know for energy is that work done equals force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of that force. Work done is measured in joules. Force is measured in newtons. Distance is measured in meters. But still, we're not entirely in base units because the newton is an SI derived unit, it is not a base unit. So we need to use another equation to find out the base unit for force. So force equals mass times acceleration. The unit for force is the Newton. The unit for mass is the kilogram. And the unit for acceleration is meters seconds to the minus two, meters per second squared. Now we know what the Newton is expressed in base units we can plug that into here to find out what the joule is in base units. So a joule is equal to a newton meter, which is equal to a kilogram meters per second squared, multiplied by a meter, and that will give us kilogram meters squared per second squared. Finally, we can put our joule back into this equation up here. Kilogram meters squared seconds to the minus two is equal to kilogram meters squared seconds to the minus two. So both sides match and this equation is also homogeneous. But just be careful, this equation is correct because it has this half here, but if we hadn't had the half, it wouldn't have changed our test for homogeneity. And we would have still found that the equation was homogeneous, even though it isn't correct. So. Uh, so the check for homogeneity can only tell us that an equation is incorrect, not that it is correct.